Hey Oak Folk, I am really excited to join y'all this Sunday for my final week as the Oak Duke intern. Um, don't worry too much, I'm not going anywhere. Um, I'm sticking around both in Durham and at Oak um, and I'm still gonna be hanging out with the youth group uh, looking forward. So don't fret too much, um, but it is kind of a momentous transition. I'm stepping away from my role as an intern and uh, transitioning into a new phase of life, a whole new chapter. Um, and so I'm gonna be uh, joining Oak to offer my final sermon as an intern, um, which has a lot of feelings wrapped up in that for me. And um, along with those feelings has come a lot of reflection about my season of life as a whole. I've been a student for a really long time. I've been a child for a really long time. And this, uh, this transition that I'm experiencing right now marks a moment when I'm going to no longer be a student and in some ways no longer be a child. And um, uh, that has got me thinking a lot about the way that Jesus incorporates um, the life of children and the priority of children into the way that we understand the kingdom of God and approach God and approach common life together. So uh, join us this Sunday for um, our 10 o'clock service um, and we'll be thinking together about what it means to have childlike faith. Um, and what caring for children and sharing life with children and getting proximate with um, children and families uh, can teach us about life and faith and uh, hopefully that <laughs> as I transition into this new phase moving forward I can sort of remember a little bit of what the wonder and playfulness of childhood has to offer um, as we follow Jesus. So join us! Um, and keep in mind that uh, if you're interested in the women's brunch or in any of the other Oak activities coming up, um, make sure to check the weekly email for information about that. Also, the following week, May 8th, Caitlin Shess is gonna join us. Uh, she's a classmate of mine and she is a, a PhD student at Duke. Um, incredible voice and I'm excited to have her join us um, on May 8th. So yeah, be on the lookout for all of those things. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you Sunday. Appreciate it.